A sneak peek inside the $5 billion Apple headquarters. Nestled in Cupertino, California, sits the headquarters for Apple, simply known as Apple Park. This $5 billion facility seats over 12,000 employees and houses all the future projects Apple develops. Unfortunately, the park doesn't open their doors to the public. But don't worry, we're here to tell you all about it. Here in this video, we're going to look at the outside, the inside, and some of the perks Apple employees get to enjoy. Before we get started, make sure that you subscribe and click the bell, that way you're notified when we post a new video. Now, let's talk more about Apple Park. The 2.8 million square foot circular building rests on 175 acres in Cupertino, California. Going into the project, Steve Jobs wanted to create a feeling of tranquility. He wanted it to be more than just an office building. He spent countless hours developing every facet of the facility, including a heavy focus on the nature surrounding the building. Despite its enormous size, the grounds consist of over 80% green space, with plants native to the area that blend in naturally with the surroundings. Because of the circular shape of Apple Park, the entire building has a spaceship feel to it. The exterior can be broken down into two primary areas, outside and inside the ring. An arborist named Dave Muffley cultivated the campus with over 309 varieties of indigenous plant life and planted over 9,000 trees across the grounds. Jobs wanted fruit trees added to the grounds and Muffley delivered. Walking around the grounds, you can find apricot, plum, cherry, and persimmon trees. Of course, such a prolific park would not be complete without apple trees. They offer Granny Smith and Pink Lady apples. The inner ring of the spaceship creates a secluded nature reserve for the employees to enjoy while on a break. The inner courtyard spans almost 30 acres by itself and offers a multitude of walking trails, fruit trees, and an artificial pond to help with relaxation. The inner ring houses a large field decorated with arches to resemble a rainbow if seen from a distance. All these features lend itself to bring nature into the office area just as Jobs wanted. While nature is beautiful, it does not shed light on the mystery going on inside the spaceship. Housing 12,000 employees in a single space requires a ton of planning and resources. Above that, Steve Jobs spared no expense with the materials, color selection, and interior design. His goal aimed to create a space that reflected the feel for the company, sleek and modern. Every space utilizes ambient lighting that can be controlled via touchpads at each desk, natural ventilation for green heating and cooling, and gets power from one of the largest rooftop solar farms in the world. Steve Jobs wanted to make a facility that harmonized with nature. The solar farm generates enough electricity to combat 75% of the building's demand during peak operation. The natural ventilation and recycled water systems helps cut down on demand on natural resources as well. For what they can't produce themselves naturally, Apple uses biofuel cells and natural gas to cover the rest. To keep that green aesthetic, Apple built an enormous parking garage underneath the building to keep the thousands of cars and parking areas out of view. In addition to that, the building has its own earthquake isolation system. Housing so many people is quite the task, though. Of the 2.8 million square feet, 1.2 million of it goes straight to office space. The remaining space dedicates itself to employee care. Aside from the normal restrooms, hallways, and such, the campus offers seven cafes, the central one being able to seat over 3,000 employees at any given time. Its three-level cafe serves up to 15,000 lunches every day and offers a great retreat from work with natural lighting and it's surrounded by the beautiful landscape. The building also offers a 100,000-square-foot wellness facility and care clinics to help employees get the health care they need. The building houses two other notable features. The first is the Steve Jobs Theater, an enormous underground auditorium that can comfortably seat a thousand people. The welcome center to the theater is built with cylindrical glass walls and no support columns. This gives visitors an uninhibited view of the campus before heading down into the auditorium. The theater is used to unveil the next big projects for Apple. While the magic may be down in the theater, the bulk of the magic is made elsewhere. Research and development have their own facilities on the southern edge of the campus. These two buildings are over 300,000 square feet on their own and house more than 2,000 employees each. These buildings work on the very cutting edge of technology, creating the next generation of iPhone or any other major product for Apple. 
the last place to explore at Apple Park is the only one you may actually get to see. The Visitor Center for Apple Park offers 20,000 square feet of interactive areas to get a virtual tour of the facility. For many people, this may be the closest you can get to walking the halls of the spaceship or the Steve Jobs Theater. If you do manage to land a job at Apple, you might get to see the beautiful spaces that make up Apple Park and enjoy the Wellness Center, miles of biking and jogging trails, and prestigious cafes. Apple Park may have been a $5 billion investment by Apple, but it creates one of the most iconic buildings and headquarters in existence. Not only do they lead the world in some of the best technology, they give back to the community and nature while doing so. From the beautiful nature reserve and jogging trails to the masterful architecture and engineering of the spaceship, Apple Park is a modern marvel. A feat that lives up to the Apple brand. Have you ever been to Apple Park? Type yes or no in the comments below. Also, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and share it with a friend. It really does help out the video and we appreciate it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.